am April Plank. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be taking you through a tower class. So let's talk a little bit about our setup. So on the tower, I'm going to be using the roll down bar and I have my short yellow loops hooked um, two from the top. So roll down bar, short yellow loops, two from the top. I also have a blue spring hooked at the very top and we're going to be using that with the push through bar. I have my safety strap because I'm going to be putting the push through bar weighted from the bottom and so I need my safety strap. I have a red spring at the very bottom of my unit and that's going to be what I hook the push through bar to. And then finally I have my long yellow loops and those are at the very, very top of my tower. Um, I also have my hand straps because I'm going to be using those on the short yellow loops. Right now I have the bar, so I will use those in a little bit. So I know that's a lot, so let's review one more time. So I have the short yellow loops with the bar, two from the top. I have a blue at the very top. I have my safety strap. I have a red at the very bottom. And I'm, I have my long yellows at the very top as well. Okay, hopefully that will be all you need and we will go ahead and get started. So let's sit on your, your um, bed and we'll grab onto that bar. So we're gonna be facing and we're gonna start with some rolling down. So legs are nice and long, squeezing the legs together. Sit up tall, reach in energy through the crown of the head. Start by tucking the tailbone, scooping the abdominals and starting to roll yourself back one vertebrae at a time, going all the way to lying down. Take a big inhale once you're there and then exhale, nod the chin, scoop the abdominals and start to roll your spine all the way back up. And we'll do that again. So you'll exhale, tuck and scoop. Big exhale as you slowly roll yourself down. Taking an inhale at the bottom, lengthening the spine from the crown of the head to the tailbone. And then start to roll your spine up one vertebrae at a time. Stacking up nice and tall, big breath in. And again, exhale, scoop and roll, keeping the shoulders relaxed and away from the ears. Essentially, that pull is helping you right now. So it's going to help you on your descent to slow you down. It's going to help pull you back up. So hopefully this feels more accessible than a traditional roll up on the mat. Big exhales, you roll back up. Let's do two more and then we'll add from there. So exhales, you roll down. Inhale nice and deep. Exhales, you knit the ribs, pull yourself all the way up and sit tall. The next time we're gonna roll halfway back down. So I want you to exhale, roll halfway down and hold that C curve. Pull the bar towards your chest and then release it forward. So starting to incorporate a little bit of your back of your body, working our lats and our upper and middle back. Big exhale as you pull, inhale, release. Keep those legs really active. That's what's grounding you to the mat. Keep that navel pulling in deep and that nice tuck of the tailbone. We'll go four and three and two and one more here. Sit up nice and tall, roll yourself all the way back down. Big inhale at the bottom. Exhale, peel yourself up, stacking your spine, sitting up nice and tall. Let's go halfway back again. Exhale, scoop, tuck and roll halfway back. This time drop the right arm more and row to the right and then drop the left arm more and row to the left. So just a little diagonal row. You may feel the obliques starting to kick in a little bit more. Try to stay heavy through both sitting bones as you move side to side. So no movement in the hip at all, just a rotation from the waist. Really nice, we'll go four and three, and two, and one. Back to the center, roll yourself all the way down. Take a big breath at the bottom and exhale, scoop and roll yourself all the way up. Take the right hand on the middle, palm faces down. Take the left hand and wrap it around your abdominals. You're gonna big exhale as you roll yourself down with one arm, going all the way down. And then exhale as you roll yourself back up and sit up nice and tall. So that arm around your belly can be a nice reminder that you're scooping in. It's almost like that thought of someone giving you a big bear hug. 
So as you're coming up and down, you're pulling from the abdominals into the spine, and then you're stacking your spine up tall, and then you're pulling back in as you roll back, and then you're stacking your spine tall. One more like that, scooping in and rolling up, stacking your spine tall. One more down and we'll hold it. So you're gonna roll all the way down and hold. From here, hold the spine long, take the left arm long, so the whole body's reaching long, and then I'm gonna lean like a banana to the right. My left arm's going to hold the outside of my bed. My left leg's gonna cross over my right, and I can even look to the right and just get a nice stretch all the way through that side of my rib cage. So the left side of the rib cage is stretching. To come out, I'm gonna go back to the center, uncross my leg, let, take the left arm and hook it around my belly again, scoop and roll all the way back up. Do that one more time on the same side. Exhale as you scoop and roll down. Reach the left arm long. Find that banana shape, so you're just gonna lean to the right, grab onto the side of the frame if that feels good for you. Cross your left leg over the right and just get that nice stretch through the entire lateral line on the left side. Hold as long as you like, it feels really good. And then we'll go back into a straight line, uncross the leg, cross the left arm over your belly again, scoop and roll all the way up and sit up tall. Let's switch and do the other side. So left hand holds palm down, right hand wraps around your abdominal. Take an inhale, sit tall. Big hug as you roll your spine down one vertebrae at a time. Lengthen the spine on a big inhale. And then exhale, roll all the way back up. And we'll do that a few times before we hold the stretch. So you exhale, scoop and roll down. Inhale at the bottom. And exhale, scoop and roll up. On that third time, we're gonna start and hold the stretch. So come all the way down and we're going to take the right arm over, find that banana shape. So you're going to lean to the left. You can grab, you might see my hand now this time grabbing. My right leg's going to cross over the left. I'm going to look towards my left shoulder, get that nice stretch. Even the bar is pulling me, so I'm stretching through there as well. And then we'll go back to the center, uncross the leg. Take the right arm around your belly, roll yourself all the way up and sit up tall. One more time, exhale, scoop and tuck, roll all the way down. Reach the right arm long, little banana curve over to the left, cross the right leg over the left, let that bar pull you slightly into this nice stretch. And then back to the center, uncross the leg, come back to neutral. Take the right arm over your belly, roll yourself all the way back up and sit up tall. Okay, from here we're going to turn around and you're gonna lay all the way down. So I'm gonna have the bar in my hands. I'm gonna have my feet about hips distance apart with my legs bent, soles the feet flat on the floor. I'm gonna incorporate a pull down so the arms are gonna pull all the way to the thighs and then all the way back to shoulder height. As I exhale, I'm pulling the arms to the thighs. And as I inhale, I'm reaching the arms back up, resisting the springs from pulling too quickly. I'm gonna add the legs to that. So when I pull the bar down, I'm gonna lift my hips to meet it. And when the bar goes up, I'm gonna lower my hips back down. So I'm lifting my hips as one straight line up and one straight line down. So we already did articulation of the back. Now we're moving the back as one solid unit. Exhaling as you lift. Inhaling as you lower. Exhale as you lift. Inhale as you lower. Now, if this is too challenging, you have a lot of pegs that you can be putting your springs on. So if you feel this is too much, then you just move the springs down one. And if that's still too much, you move it down another and just find a place that works for you. And as you get stronger, or feel more comfortable, you can always move back up. Next time the hips are down and connected to the bar, little pulses, hips pulse up, bar pulses down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release the bar, release the hips. Take an inhale here, lift everything back up again. Take the bar to the hips. I'm gonna hold it kind of halfway this time. 
reach my right leg into tabletop. Now notice that your hips do not shift here. You wanna keep your hips square. So I'm gonna let my arms go away as my right leg extends, pull my right leg in towards the bar. So the arms and legs go away from each other, the arm and knee go together. So it's not as big of a motion, it's a tiny little press. Inhale, exhale, press. Inhale, exhale, pull. Let's go four and three and two and one more. Nice work. Set that leg down, roll your hips down, release the bar. We've got the other side. So big inhale to prepare, lift the hips, press the bar halfway down. Take your left leg, lift it to table. Make sure your hips are staying square and let's add our movement. So the left leg goes long, the right arm, left, the both legs, ah, the left leg goes long, both arms go away, and then you pull it together. I have a little audience today. I think she ran away. No, she's back. No, that's the other one. I'm trying to teach with the kids at home. A little bit of a balancing act during the quarantine. We'll go four. So hopefully my counting's not too off for you guys. And three, and two, and one. Good, set the foot down, roll yourself all the way down, and pull the knees into your chest, give yourself a little hug. And just rock side to side. We're gonna roll all the way up, still using the bar. I'm gonna turn so that I've got my left hip towards the mat, my right hand's gonna hold the center of the bar. Now my right leg is gonna be back on the back pole and my left leg is forward on the front pole. I'm gonna lay all the way on my side and make a pillow for my head with my bicep. So I'm gonna use my left arm to assist me a little bit as I take a big exhale and lift up to a lateral flexion and then I'll bring it all the way back down. So just a little pressing into that arm to help and I'll show you some more advanced options when you're ready. So you can continue that little assistance with the left hand. If you wanna make it a little more challenging, take the left hand, cross it over your right shoulder, and you're gonna lift up with no assistance of the hand. So you're exhaling as you lift, inhaling as you lower. If you find that's too much, just take it back with the hand onto the mat. If you'd like it even more challenging, the left arm can go long and line with the ear. So longer lever means more weight that you're having to lift up or the weights farther away from your center point. So it's a little more challenging to lift. I'm really pushing into my feet here to help facilitate this lateral flexion in my spine. I'm gonna go back here. I like this variation, four and three and two and one. Nice job. Come all the way up. Face your bar again, bend your knees this time. We're gonna go into a little bit of teaser variation before we do the other side. So just like we did in our roll ups, we're gonna roll halfway down and then just a little lift up. So it's just a little isolated movement with both feet planted firmly. Now I did say teaser and that means feet in the air and that's where we can head if we want. Don't have to do it today. You can keep both feet firmly planted. If you want it more challenging, you're gonna lift up and reach the right leg up and bring it back down. The next time you lift up, you reach the left leg up and you bring it back down. So you can alternate right leg lifts and down and left leg lifts and down, or you can do both legs. So both legs lift and down and both legs lift and down, or you can keep the legs lifted, and down. Good, really pull in deep through the abdominals, trying to keep those knees right in line with your hips, shins parallel to the floor. Here's four, and three, and two, and one. Nice job. Come all the way up. All right, the left hand's gonna go to the center of the bar. I'm gonna turn onto my right hip. Just as a reminder, my right foot is forward, my left foot is back. I'm gonna lay all the way on the side and make a pillow with my bicep. 
So using my right hand for a little bit of assistance, I'm going to lift up into that lateral flexion and I'll lower back down. Big exhales, you lift and inhale, lower back down. If you want to stay here, you can. If you want to make it more challenging, cross that right arm over the left shoulder. I'll take, take attention to my armpit since I've got my mic there. Big exhale as you lift. Inhale down. And if you want even more challenge, the right arm can go along the side of the ear. Longer lever, more challenge. Good. I think I'll equal my other side and bring the hand back to position two. And we'll go for four and three and two and one. Nice job. Come all the way up. Let's keep that bar and stand up. So we're going to be standing and we might need to move back a little bit to get enough resistance. You kind of decide how far back you need to be. So bring the feet about hips distance apart, toes facing the tower. We're going to do a nice big squat as you pull the bar towards you and then bring it back up. So you squat in row and back up. So now we're gonna to start to fire a little bit through our larger muscle groups in the leg. Anytime we do that, the heart rate's gonna get a little higher. So make sure you're breathing, sending that oxygen into the muscles that need it. Exhale as you lower, inhale as you lift. Think of lifting the chest as you drop back through the hips. That crown of the head stays pointing up to the ceiling the whole time. So we're not dropping the chest forward. You're dropping the hips down. Let's go two more times. The second time you're going to hold the legs bent and just do the arms. So a little isometric with the legs, holding these knees as bent as, bent as you can as you do the arms. Nice work. We've got four and three, and two. Do one more, hold the arms halfway, pulse the legs. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way up. Good. From here, we'll take the right leg back. So as you do the row, you're gonna step the right leg back drop the knee towards the mat and bring it back up. Now your left will step back. You'll row and drop the knee to the mat and step forward. So you're essentially stepping back first, then dropping your weight down and popping forward. So with these back lunges, think of your energy going straight down. So I step back, I go straight down, I come up. I step back, straight down and up. Back lunges are quite a bit more accessible on your knees because your weight's pushing back versus forward. So notice that front knee is always going to be right in line with my ankle. But if it does not feel good, don't go as deep or just do the arms or back to those squats. Good. Four. And three. Nice. The next time the right foot is back, we're going to hold it and pulse. Pulse down. Eight, seven, just pulsing the leg. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come up and switch. Left leg goes down and back and you pulse. Eight, seven, six, you've got it. Five, keep breathing. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Come all the way up. Step a little forward. Now the right side, I want you to unhook. Keep the left side hooked and you're going to turn quarter turn to your left. So I've got my left side away from the tower. I'm going to take my left hand on the bottom of the hardware, my right hand on the top of the hardware. I'm going to come into a nice big um, wide position and start to do a little lateral lunge side to side. So as I push out to my left, the bar comes with me. Notice the bar isn't changing positions. It's staying right in line with my sternum. So I'm not using any rotation yet. I'm just moving lateral side to side with my hips. Good. 
Now I said yet, which means we are going to add a little lateral rotation after four. And three. Good. Next time I lean to the left, I'm going to turn my torso as well. So I'm going to rotate, rotate back, rotate, rotate back. Now I'm using quite a bit more arms and abdominals to twist everything to the left. Rotate, rotate back. Good. Let's go four and three and two. Hold the next one to the left. Little pulses with only the upper body. Eight, seven, six. Good. Keep breathing. Four and three, two and one. Nice job. Come forward and release. Let's take a quarter turn to the left. Now I've got my bar based on your height. It should be in a good place. If you need to move it, you can, but it's going to be kind of at my armpit underneath my arm. So I'm going to step my right foot into a front lunge and then I'll push the carriage and come back. Then my left leg. Good. So I'm just stepping forward and pushing. If I go too deep in the lunge, it's going to rub the spring against my arm. And so if that doesn't feel good, stay a little upright. Or again, you can move the spring down. Good. Make sure when you're stepping forward that you're not letting the knee go forward of the ankle. You're still thinking of your back knee going down versus forward. Good. Two more. Next time the right leg's forward, hold. So I'm going to hold here and just push the arms and release the arms. Push the arms, release. So I'm working a little bit more on my right side of my chest because that's where the weight is. But I'm trying to keep that bar as still and steady as I can. Good. Let's go four and three and two and one. Really good job. Step all the way back. Let's unhook that spring and just hook up your other spring. So it should be right there for you on the left side. I'm going to have that spring underneath my left armpit. I'm going to stand nice and tall, shoulders back, abs in, ribs connected. I'm going to step forth my left foot as I row or do a chest press. And I'm going to step forth my right foot as I chest press. Good. So I'm just stepping forward and pressing. Now you might try it if you're a little, um, you feel like maybe it's better to have the spring on top of the shoulder. You could try that. Again, you kind of play around based on your height of what feels better for you. Good. We've got four and three and two. Now next time the left leg is four, you'll hold it and just the upper body. Press and release. Four and three and two and one. Really good job. Let's come forward. Now we'll take a quarter turn to the left. This is where I'm in that wide position where my right hand's going to go on the bottom of the hardware. My left hand goes right above the hardware. I'm going to keep my torso in line with a stick and I'm going to lean my right leg to the right and then left. So you're in charge of how challenging this is. If you need it harder, step farther away from the tower. So I'm pressing over and back, over and back. Just a little lateral sway side to side. My torso is staying straight up and down. Nice, strong breathing. Think of your Pilates posture, shoulders back and down, chest lifted. Crown of the head reaching to the ceiling. Add that rotation. So twist right and center. Twist right and center. Good. We'll go four and three and two. Hold your next one to the right. 
just the upper body pulses, eight tiny, little tiny pulses. That spring's trying to pull you back quick. You wanna resist it for four, three, two, and one. Good, come forward and release. Now let's take that pole off. We're done with that. I'm gonna step all the way down and put my pole to the side. I'm going to take my little yellow loops that I've been using with the pole and I'm gonna move them down halfway. So it's kind of right at my bra line is where I want them to be. So both of them are gonna move down and this is where I'm going to pick up my hand straps. So I'm gonna take my hand straps and connect them to those short yellow loops. So I've got the short yellow loops and my hand straps connected. I'm gonna come into my knees facing away from the reformer and these loops are gonna go around my thighs. So I'm gonna, I have two loops, short and little. I'm gonna take the big loop and put it up over my knees and I'm facing away from my tower. So the big loop's going over my knees, I'm away from my tower. I'm gonna kind of shimmy forward so that I have enough resistance. And you can kind of play around with what works and you might need to get a little, go a little farther. So from here, turn your toes underneath you Without changing the structure of your spine, you're gonna lift your knees and just hover. So it's just a little hover. Now this series can be a little bit wrist heavy. And so if you have a lot of issues with your wrists, then I would recommend doing it on your elbows. If you have a Pilates box handy, you could put the box where your hands are. So your, elevator, your elbows are propped up higher, or you can have your elbows down on the carriage. We're gonna hold for three and two. And one, set the knees down, press off the wrists and back into a little child's pose. Because that's not the only one we're doing. We're gonna ramp it up. So you can always go back to that variation or come with me if you want a little more challenge. So this time I'm gonna come all the way up, turn the toes under, I'm gonna lift the knees. I'm gonna take the right knee, pull it into my chest and back, left knee into my chest and back. So I'm doing little presses in, using a big exhale to pull. Focus it on those deep, low abdominal muscles to pull the knee in. Good, pulling in and out, in and out. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work, set the knees down, take the weight off the wrist and press into your child's pose. Awesome job, two more sets to go. So we'll take one more big breath here to get ready. All right, let's go again. So come back to tabletop, turn your toes under, lift your legs. This time the right knee is gonna to come to the outside of the elbow and back. Your left knee goes to the outside of the elbow and back. So it's more focus on the obliques on the side of the waistline. So I'm pulling in and back, in and back. Big exhales as you pull for four. Slow and steady, you probably wanna rush it but stay, take it slowly. Good. I lost count, so we'll do two extra, or maybe it was enough. And then we'll set the knees down and rest. So you might have got two extra there, which is always a bonus. Okay, our last set, we're gonna combine the knee in and the knee to the side, and we're gonna do two on each side. So take one more big breath, and we'll get ready to go. So back into our tabletop, turn your knees on, toes under, Lift your knees, right knee's gonna come in, and then it's gonna go around to the side. Repeat, left knee in, and then left knee to elbow, right again. Right knee in, right knee to the elbow, left knee in, left knee to the elbow. Four more, knee to the elbow, three to go. Knee to the elbow, one more on each side. Knee to the elbow, last one here and knee to the elbow and relax. Awesome work, very good job. Take that little bit of recovery breath and we're gonna come out of those loops. We're still gonna be using them, so just let them go and then let's turn all the way around. So still working on our hands and knees. I'm gonna take the loop on the right side and you might wanna scoot back, kinda of see what feels best for you. Left hand is gonna be on the carriage floor or on the bed of the um, tower, your knees are in line with your hips. Your right arm is off to the side and you're gonna pull it all the way back to the hip and forward. So I'm pulling that arm back to the hip and forward. 
Make sure your left elbow has a tiny little bend so you're not locking out that joint. And if you want more challenge, you can lift your left leg back behind you, but just make sure your hips stay square. We've got two more straight arm pulls with the right arm, and then we're gonna hold it up and go into a tricep, bend and stretch, bend and stretch. Good, four, three, two, one. Back to a straight arm towards the floor. You're gonna circle it back, out to the side, and back around to where you started. So again, control the springs. Don't let the springs muscle you around. So you wanna pull the spring open, keep it open as long as you can as you circle around. So the spring's gonna to wanna to recoil quickly, and you wanna resist that. Three in this direction. Again, if it's too much to keep the left leg lifted, you can always drop the left leg down. And let's go ahead and reverse the direction. So go out, pull back, and forward. Out, pull back, and forward. Good, remember to bend that left elbow slightly, especially if you start to feel it in your neck. You don't wanna lock your joints out. Last two here, and this will be your last one. Good, the left leg's gonna step forward where my left hand was, and I'm gonna come into this up high proposal position. Now for me, I like to hold a little higher up onto the strap here, and my right arm's gonna reach towards the tower. High elbow row with the left arm. Now if it's too hard, you can grab back for the loop, but I find this is enough resistance for me. Now you may feel like you wanna stay here and work just on the back, and that's perfect. If you wanna incorporate more lower body, get the heart rate up a little bit, we're gonna add that now. So you'll turn your right toes underneath you. Every time you row, you're gonna stand up. Every time you release, you're gonna tap down. Row and back. Row and down. Good, I think standing straight up, straight back down. You're doing great. Two more. Now we're gonna stay down and add some rotation with the arm. So row, look left, back to the center. Adding more oblique. Good. Three, two, and one. Awesome work. Now I realize I should have done the other side first because I'm gonna have to face away from you. So I apologize for that. You're gonna sit in a mermaid. So you've got your left shin parallel to the tower, your right leg crossed in front of you, so traditional mermaid stance. The strap is in my left hand, my right hand is on the mat. I'm gonna turn my torso and punch the left arm across my body and then bring it back. So I'm punching across and back. Good, let's go three more. And two, and one. Last one here, the right hand's gonna grab the strap, left hand on the mat. Bring your right elbow out to the horizon, and then we'll do a backhand. You're gonna punch that right arm out and back. Punch it all the way out and back. Watch that you keep the wrist as straight as you can. If this is too much, wiggle your body towards the tower. Three more. Last two, and one more. Nice job. Go ahead and release that. Take the right elbow towards the mat. Reach your left arm up and just take a little stretch laterally into the mermaid stretch. Keeping that right shoulder away from your ear. And then drop that arm down, move your right arm down, and bring both elbows to that side of the body and release your head, your neck, and your shoulders. Turn your torso back to the left, and with a nice inhale, come all the way up and take a counter stretch. Left hand rests on the mat, and the right arm reaches over. 
Again, shoulders soften away from the ears as you try to lengthen from the right fingers to the right hip. And then we'll rotate on this side, bringing both hands down and just softening the elbows and feeling that nice release through the right side of the body. And then we'll come all the way back up and we're going to move into the other side. So facing your tower again in tabletop, this time pick up the strap on your left side, knees in line with the hips, right wrist in line with your elbow, left arms reaching long and a little out to the side. You're going to take that left arm, pull it all the way back to the hip and slowly resist it back towards the floor. Think of your neutral spine, tailbone reaching to the back of the room, crown of the head reaching to the front of the room. For more balance challenge and more core, your right leg is going to lift, but your hips are going to stay square. If that's too much, drop the right knee down, or you can set the right foot down. It's kind of a middle ground. Now keep the arm back and go into your tricep, bend and stretch. So I'm focusing on the elbow, staying right in line with the hip. As I press the arm straight, slowly bend it back. Two more, and then the arm's going to go straight. We're going to circle the arm back, out to the horizon, and back to where you started. So circle back, out, and around. Slow and steady, trying to keep the resistance in the spring the whole time. Good. Two more to go. One more in this direction and let's switch the direction. So you're going to go out first, pull back to the hip and down, out, back to the hip and down. Really good. Focus on your form for three and two and one. Nice work. The right foot's going to go forward where the right hand was. Come up to that high proposal. Now I like to, on the other side, I had my hand holding far up on the strap. I'm gonna do the same thing here. My left arm's gonna reach to the tower. Gonna lift my sternum, roll my shoulders back, lift my gaze. Right elbow is gonna do a pull in a row and back. So pull the right arm and release it back. On the other side, we took the option of turning the back toes underneath and standing. So if you want to do that, we're going to add it. So next time you row, you're going to stand straight up and then tap back down, straight up and tap back down. Really drive into that right heel, lift straight up to the ceiling. Good. Three and two. One more, and then we're going to keep the knee down and add your twist. So look over the right and come back. Look over the right and come back. Think of that oblique, that rotation of your waist. Last three. Last two. And one more. Really good job. Let's go ahead and release. Come into your mermaid, so your right shin is close to the tower. Your left leg's crossed in front. Your right hand has the strap, left hand on the mat. You're going to twist for a chest press with a rotation. So I'm going to punch across my body and back. Good. Bet you guys are ready for some glute work, right? I thought that was what you'd be thinking. It's coming up next. Last three and two. We've got one more here, and then we have to do our left side draw the sword. So punch that left elbow out to the side. You're going to push it out straight, pull it back slowly. Again, if you feel like this is too much and your form is being compromised, move your body to the tower. Give yourself a little less work. 
Good. Give me these last three. Really strong breath. Three and two and one. Awesome job. Release your strap. Left arm to the mat. Right arm reaches over. Big mermaid stretch. Dropping the left shoulder from the ear. Reaching the right fingers long. And taking a few big breaths here. Drop the right hand down. Bring both elbows to the mat if that's accessible, or you can stay up on the hands. You're going to twist your torso towards the left. And then we're going to turn back to the front, all the way up for a counter stretch. Right hand to the floor, left arm reaches long. And kind of push your rib cage to the left to open up that whole side. And then your left hand will come down and you can just release the side too. And then let's stack up. Okay, just a few things left to go, you guys, in the workout today. So let's remove the straps from the short yellow loops. We're done with the short yellow loops. We're gonna put the hand straps on the long yellow loops. And remember, those are at the very, very top. And that's for some feet and straps coming up in a moment. Before we go to feet and straps, we're going to take our safety strap and bring that down because we're going to be loading up the push through bar for the first time today. And it's going to be loaded from the bottom. So whenever you load it from the bottom, you want to have it connected into the safety strap. So I'm going to take, take my push through bar and I'm going to take this red spring that I have way down here in the bottom and I'm going to hook the red spring to one side of the safety bar. So I have the red spring to the safety bar, or excuse me, to the push through bar. And now I'm taking the safety strap and I'm going to hook that up so that's secure. So that means the strap, this is, um, is not going to go any farther down, which I should be fine. I'm just doing glute work. So I'm going to be over here in a tabletop position again. And I'll play around with my positioning. I'm going to take my right foot onto the bar and I'm going to take that bar and bring it up and my heel's going to be on the bar. Now you can also prop yourself down on your elbows. So keep your hips square here and then push that right leg long and then pull it back down. Big exhale to press, inhale down. Does not take too many of these. And not only do I feel the work in the right leg, which is moving, I definitely am feeling quite a bit of work in my left leg as a supporter. We're going to do three more and two and one. Good. Let's come down and switch. So now your left foot's going to go on the bar, heel on the bar. You're going to push it all the way up and then back down. Press and back down. Think of hugging those muscles towards the bone as you push. Big exhale, press, inhale down. I feel if you go too low, it's hard to get back up. So if you're having a hard time with it, stay a little bit higher. Three. And two. And one. Really good. Let's come down. We're going to repeat it one more time on each side just to make sure we've worked the glutes sufficiently. So let's put the right heel onto the bar. Lift it all the way up and then back down. Slow and steady. Again, if you don't like it on the elbows, you can come up to the hands. Not much to say with this. You hopefully are feeling it. Three more. And two. And one, come down. We have made it, one more side to go. Put your left heel on, press that carriage, or that push bar up, and bring it down. Go 
So you've got it. Keep going. Last three. Last two. And last one. Really nice work. Come all the way down. All right, we're going to remove that. That was enough of the glute work, I think. So let's take your red spring off first. And just kind of set that down. Then we'll take the safety strap off second. The push through bar we will use again, but right now we're going to put our feet in straps. So let's put that push through bar out of the way. And then we've got, remember, our long loops at the very top, and you already have your straps on there. So let's go ahead and lay down. All right, once you're laying down, you're going to put the straps onto the feet. Now my carriage or my um, tower also came with purple. So if the yellow isn't enough for you, you might want to try purple. I'm going to take my hands to the tower and kind of wiggle down so that my arms are straight, but my shoulders are still relaxed. Make sure your tailbone's heavy, your heels are together, knees about shoulder distance apart. Push out and down against from the springs and then back in. So you're pressing out and down and back in. For me, the yellow springs are enough. If I do too much um, work in the tower, my low back tends, my low back just loves to do all the work for me. So I can't go too heavy or end up tweaking my back. So I love working the long yellow, but if you're feeling eh, this isn't enough for you and you want the purple, please feel free to substitute. Good, two more. Now we're gonna keep the legs long, bring the feet about hips distance apart in little circles, down and around. So your resistance is coming from the top. So you're pushing your focus on pressing down against the resistance, down against the resistance. Three more, and two, and one. Take the heels and beat them together. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn the toes to the front and, or the ceiling and a little kind of walking motion. So push down, down. So focus on down with one leg as the other leg passively gets pulled up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull the heels together, back into your frog. We're going to repeat that whole series. We're going to repeat the whole series again, but we're going to do it lifted if you want. So you're going to push out and back. So more of a magician series and back. If this is too challenging to have the hips lifted, please go back to the hips down. Three more, and you might want to alternate, do one exercise hips up, one exercise hips down. Next time the legs are going to stay straight, separate them hips distance, little circles. Circle the other way. Heel beats. Keep lifting those hips up. Four, three, two, turn the toes back and walking. Four, three, two, one, and lower. Now my hips were pretty low. Um, the purple springs, it's easier to lift higher, but again, from my back, I can't really take it into those springs. So pull the knees into your chest, give your knees a little hug, and let's take the springs off. All right, we're gonna move on to our very last piece of equipment, the push-through bar. We're gonna weight it from the top with a blue spring and do a little back extension. So I'm gonna remove my microphone because it's on my belly and we will do um, this together. So you're gonna lay onto your stomach. And then you'll wanna reach for that bar and bring it down in front of you. So I'm gonna lay my head onto the mat 
I'm going to reach my legs about hips distance apart. I'm going to let my shoulders kind of slide away from my ears. I'm going to push my pubic bone into the mat as I slowly let the bar pull towards me and take a little back bend. We're going to start nice and slow and then build. And then we'll release all the way back down. Nice big inhale and then exhale as you press your tailbone into the mat. Lift your chest up, come into that nice big back bend, and then release it all the way back down. So everyone has a different degree of spinal extension, and what you don't want to do is overdo your spinal extension. So listen to your body. If this is where you need to stay, you stay here. If you can go a little higher, you're going to bend your arms as you start to lift the chest. And then you push the bar up to the ceiling and lift a little higher. I'm still pushing my pubic bone into the mat. I'm still tucking my tail underneath me. And I'm going to bend the arms, lower the ribs, press the arms straight, and reach them back. So that second variation, again, I'm going to bend the arms. And I'm going to lift my chest, push the arms long, press the bar away, and try to press the chest up. And then I'm going to lower down bend the arms and press the bar to the tower. So do one more, either two of those variations. So if you're doing the second one, you're bending the arms, you're pressing the chest up, you're lifting up, and then you're lowering the chest, bending the arms and releasing down. Lift slightly with the abdominal. So lifting the chest slightly, we're gonna lift the right leg up the left leg up and go into heel beats. So we're gonna inhale two, three, four, and exhale two, three, four, and inhale two, and exhale. Three more sets. And two. And one. Exhale two, three, four, and release. Good, you can let the bar go back to where it was. You're gonna push up into a child's pose, shell stretch, and let your back go into a little flexion. Which should hopefully feel nice after that big extension. And the very final thing we're going to do today is a saw stretch for glutes our low back and our hamstrings. So let's come all the way up to seated. I'm going to put my feet up against the tower. I'm going to grab that bar towards me. I'm going to pull it down to chest height, sitting up tall, reaching crown of the head to the ceiling. You're going to press the bar forward as you round the back. Now be careful of your feet, make sure they're out of your way. So you're going to round the chest forward. Think of the, like when we first started where someone was giving you a big hug, bear hug around the belly so your back is rounded, your shoulders are away from your ears, your legs are active. I'm going to stack my spine, sit up tall, bend the arms, and then push the bar away from me and hinge forward into a diagonal and just let myself lean into this stretch here. So I'm trying to press the arms long, lift up and out of my sits bones, and reach the crown of the head away from the tailbone. And then I'm gonna come back, bring the bar back towards me. I'm gonna dive forward, scoop my abs in, press and round forward into that forward bend stretch. Now this is where you get a nice hamstring stretch. If your knees are bent, that's fine. If you need to prop yourself up on a mat so your hips are a little ele elevated, that's fine as well. And we're gonna come all the way up. Press the bar forward, drop the chest down. Let's do one more time and then we'll go into a saw variation. So we're gonna round back, pull the bar down, scoop and round forward. And then you're gonna roll yourself up Press the bar up and lean forward into that diagonal. 
From here, take the right hand off the bar. You can bring it on the outside of your left leg. You might even be able to hold the tower if that's accessible to you. And then you're going to push the bar away, pull the right hand towards you and give yourself a spinal twist looking over your left armpit. From there, unwind, take the right hand to the bar, turn your torso and bring the left hand to the um, tower and then pull your left hand towards you, push your right hand away from you, look underneath your right armpit and take a twist in that direction. Take it back to the center, press your chest forward, roll back to the sits bones, bend the arm, chest reaches forward into that nice round curve. And then one vertebrae at a time, you're going to stack your spine back up, sitting up nice and tall, and you can release the bar. And we are done. Thank you so much for joining me for my tower class today. Um, please let me know if you have comments, suggestions, or anything else. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Um, have a great day and hope to see you soon. Take care.